Hey, today we're doing some testing with some different fixtures to compare my product against some other products that are out there. This is a really common light that many people use for ENG production or commercials or what have you. It's a fluorescent fixture, four bulbs, built-in dimmer, but you also have to pick whether you want daylight or tungsten bulbs or a mixture, you maybe go half and half on the bulbs. So right now this setup that we're doing today is all daylight based. Uh, so I pulled the fixture out and I realized that it's half and half right now so I want to go ahead and make this thing all daylight. So here's the uh, process of removing the bulbs. Uh, they use a little thumb button and a really tight metal latch that holds these U-shaped fluorescent bulbs uh, in the fixture. Uh, in, in my experience with these things, uh, especially under cold weather conditions, uh, these generally can crack quite easily. And also I noticed that if I happen to travel on a plane and when I go to get my baggage pickup, sometimes the case that it's in, uh, these things are all broken. So I, out of my little carrying case, I grabbed a couple extra daylight tubes and I'm trying to work as quickly as I can, which many of you have to do when you're on set. Okay, I've got four daylight tubes. Put my gel frame back, back on there, and I've got my grid that comes with it uh, to help keep the light spill. Sometimes you use it, sometimes you don't. Uh, my product is very similar in shape and size, but very unique in the fact that it's full LED. It's one foot by two foot, which is pretty much the dimensions of the fluorescent lights. But what's unique about it is a quick on-off and fully dimmable, but no bulb changes. We can go tungsten, we can go daylight with just a turn of a knob. And we can go anywhere in between. So if we want 4,500 degrees, 4,800 degrees, anywhere up to 5,600 uh, with a turn of a dial. What I'd like to do next is do a side-by-side -side comparison of the fluorescent light with a light meter and then we'll put up the LED light and we'll see how the two compare to each other. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're using two popular cameras, a Canon 5D Mark II and a Red MX. Both are set to 320 ISO and at a 2.8 f-stop. The distance from the light to the subject is five feet. The first fixture up is a fluorescent 400 watt light. So to demonstrate uh, the light quality of a fluorescent 400 watt fixture, it's a single light source, there are no other lights on in the room. Again, the distance is five feet from the light to the subject. We've set our meter at 320 ISO and we're at 24 frames a second on both cameras. A light reading directly to the camera is a bump is a little bit over a 2.8, two eight, two eight and a half. Now we want to look at the fall off on the light and we're just going to take a quick reading on the back wall. Now once again there's only one light on in this setup. So exposure wise on the back wall it's fallen off pretty good. It's, it's under a 2 so it's about a 1.5 at again at 320 ISO. So now we're going to pop off the fluorescent fixture and put up the 1 by 2 LED. As you probably can tell, we're overexposed, but in the interest of keeping the test accurate, we have the 1 by 2 LED at full intensity. If I put the light meter up at the same ISO, 320 at 24 frames, I've got a 5.6. So the LED is almost a stop and a half brighter at full intensity. If I check the background, it's about a stop hotter in the background. So let's try to match what we've done before. So we're going to have to actually dim the LED. Keep bringing it down. Keep coming. Hoop. So we've dimmed almost 30, 40% to match what we had previously. Well, I think we've shown you how bright an LED can be, but also another reminder, it's just as simple to dial that color temperature, 3,200 degrees, or anywhere in between with just the rotate of a dial.